A classmate of mine who visited my high school to hoop years ago was shocked that we had metal detectors. They didn't have those where he came from. I laughed and I told him it was normal in Richmond. So it's the amount of police cars that circle schools like prison bars. The roles are supposed to be protectors, but the metal detectors are some reflectors of the risks that the youth face. School is supposed to be a safe place. The education system is like a parent. It's a parent that it helps them learn how to turn a new leaf, whether it's for the better or the chief in the bathroom stalls. Teach them how to write on the walls to reflect a sense of unity in the community and continuity and get a higher education. Yet, when Richmond Public Schools has a 75% graduation rate, it's hard to see that correlation. There's always a loose quarter rolling around for change. I'm not talking $20. I'm talking something spiritual. The solution is far from empirical. Think of what goes on beyond outside the classroom. Think crying in the bedroom, streets full of gloom. Friends meet in premature doom in the former murder capital. They're learning how to shoot before how to build capital. They're thinking blood money before scholarship. They think of conviction as the process of how someone gets locked up rather than having a strong belief. I believe the youth needs more relief. Some mentors like an angel on their shoulder to teach composure and how to get closer to success. The counselors can aid their psychology by proving that regardless of their biology, they can thrive in the sociology where the ecology contain traps to send the kids to prison or to close the lid on a coffin. They can live and open up about their emotions regardless of notions that they should bottle it up that no one cares for them. Yet, revealing weakness can build strength. In the time where everything is under the microscope, we can find cures for the situation. Create safe spaces that's open to all faces. We're all cards living on the luck of a draw, yet we can create our own fortune, investing in our own health, owning our own portions. We can't always protect the youth but we can teach them the truth by giving them tools to thrive outside of school so they can be more aware.